Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is How Fast. I really want to thank you guys all for your support. Um, and I wanted to remind you, if you get a chance, go stop by Instagram and, and give me a like and give me a follow. Or if you want, stop by howfast.ca and check out some of our, our new shirts. We have our new shirt design, which you can see here, uh, that's available for pre-order right now. So if you're interested and you want to help support the channel, uh, please stop by uh, howfast.ca or even you could just message me at howfast10 at gmail.com and uh, I can put it on order for you. And I want to let you guys know, every single dollar that you spend goes right back into, it goes into the build actually, is what it goes into parts, into moving Dudgy along so that we can all see him make his first run down the track together uh, as a family, the How Fast family. So today we're gonna do the throttle pedal assembly. I was looking at it, seeing how it's gonna fit. I think I've got a plan, and here's what I've come up with. All right, so here is our throttle pedal, and you can see it's meant to be floor mounted, and you, you can imagine how it works. These, this, this throws an arm, and the linkage is attached here, and depending on how much movement, it makes sense, right? Now, it's a floor-mounted shifter, so if I was to pretend that this, this wood here was the floor of Dudgy, because okay, where his gas pedal would be sitting. Now, this is, I guess, what would be considered, this, would, this is 0% throttle input. And then 100%, I guess, would be this. But, like, you can imagine, that's really awkward. Like, I couldn't bend my foot like that. I have an ankle. So, I started thinking this thing isn't, it's not ideal for what we have. I can't very well mount it on the firewall because it's then going to lean like this. And then full throttle would be, I don't know, when it hit the firewall, something like that. Which seems odd as well. So I was looking at it and thinking, like, what's the angle? What is the angle that this thing needs to be on for it to be comfortable in the car? So I sat in the car, I've kind of placed it out in there, and it turns out on about a 45 degree angle, this thing sits nice in a, in a, in a position that when I do give it full throttle, it'll be at like a normal uh, throttle pedal position for, for, for full throttle, if that makes sense. I also noticed that if I put my foot here, it's my foot's up here and I want basically want this near the ball of my foot or the tip of my toes almost when my heel is resting on the ground so I want to raise this thing up about three inches off of uh, the piece of steel so what I'm gonna do what my plan is here is to build an aluminum box or I don't even know what to call it it's not a box that's for sure it's some sort of aluminum I don't know. I can I can see it in my head. I don't even know what it is. It, but this is what it's going to look like. So here's kind of a rough idea of what I'm thinking. All right. This is what it would look like opened up. So all I have to do is kind of figure out dimensions for these. These are the important ones. And find out a way so that it makes it so that I can mount the pedal to this surface here and then raise the pedal up and put it on the right angle. So, let's give it a shot.
half an hour of bending and hitting and shaping and, and trimming. This is what I have. Definitely solid. Like definitely gonna be enough uh, that if I like push my foot down on it, there's no flex in this at all. I've put it in the car kind of like where I think it's gonna land. So now I'm just gonna bolt the actual pedal up to it and see if it sits the way I expect it would. Let's see. All right, here's what we have. Kind of what I had envisioned. Not, not far off, to be honest. So I'm gonna put this in. I've already kind of figured out where it fits. It kind of sits in there funny. It does, it kind of sits in there, like, I don't know if you guys look at it. It kind of looks like it's leaning to the left. So, I don't know, if my OCD is kind of kicking in and it makes me want to cut something, but I'm just gonna put it in for now, see how it fits. If it fits good and it feels like it functions right, we'll leave it. Race car, not show car, right? Race car. A lot of room for both feet down there. Stack it in. Well, there it is, guys. All installed, right in the right position. In fact, I think we're still. I think we're using the original uh, location where the throttle cable came through. So, feels right. Looks right. I don't know if it looks right, but it feels right. And with that, guys, we're one step closer to getting this car down the track. So I'm super excited about that. So I guess the question is, what's next? We talked about calipers. I have decided I'm going to paint them red. I think red's the right color for Dudgey's calipers. So I think in the next week here, I'll pull out the calipers, we get some caliper paint, we'll tape them up, we'll paint those up, we'll put them back on the car, and then we're gonna get running some brake lines. Now as far as uh, how fast trivia goes, last week's question was, what year was the Porsche 911 introduced? Your options were A, 1973, B, 1963, C, 1953, or D, 1983. And the correct answer, some of you got it, 1963 is when the Porsche 911 was introduced. Uh, very popular time for beautiful cars like that. So this week, our how fast question is a little bit more international as well. And uh, this one, you some of you who are Honda fans or JDM fans might actually get this one ahead of some of the other uh, domestic fans. So let's even get this one. Your question for this week's how fast trivia. Mitsubishi named their K car, a small city car, after which vegetable? Is it A, lettuce, B, carrot, C, an onion, or D, cabbage? Now, I already knew what the answer to this one was. Don't ask me how I knew that. I don't, probably some, some obscure fact that I've retained from my childhood. I want to remind you guys, don't forget to stop by my Instagram, uh, catch me on TikTok, or you can even come by the Facebook page at howfast.ca, or you can check out howfast.ca on the web, the actual website. Pick yourself up uh, some merch, help support the channel, help support the build, help get this car on the road. I really appreciate you guys so much, more than you know. I'll catch you guys next time, find out how fast we can make this car go.